You know those products that you have high hopes for but you've never really used consistently enough to see the full results? That is me with Dermalogica's Daily Microfoliant Exfoliator, but that changes today and I'm going to take you along on the journey with me. Before we dive in, allow me to introduce myself. My name is Amy and this is my beauty YouTube channel where I make all kinds of beauty related videos including lots of reviews like this one. If you are a beauty lover, I have a feeling you're going to find my channel really useful so make sure you subscribe and stick around. With all of my review videos, my aim is always to give you all of the information you need to make an informed decision about whether these products are worth your money. So we're going to be talking through what this product is supposed to do, some key ingredients, my first impressions and my thoughts after prolonged use. And if you enjoy it or find it useful, I'd really appreciate a thumbs up on the video. That being said, I am no expert, I'm just a person with skin and opinions. Everyone's skin is different and everyone's experiences will be different, so if you do have any experience with this product, please pop it down in the comments so that we can all scroll down and learn together. That's one of my favourite things about this channel, is the way that we all help each other out. So let's get on with it, shall we? The Daily Microfoliant Exfoliator by Dermalogica is a brightening powder exfoliant with rave reviews, and it promises to brighten, gently polish, and even out your skin tone. It's a rice-based powder which activates when it comes into contact with water, and of course its results are caused by its ingredients. So it polishes the skin with papain, salicylic acid, and rice enzymes. It uses a phytic acid complex to brighten and even the skin which comes from licorice, white tea and rice bran and it soothes the skin with collodial oatmeal and allantoin. And unlike most other exfoliators this product is gentle enough that it's suitable for daily use on most skin types. Basically it removes dead and dull skin cells promoting better cell renewal revealing brighter and smoother skin. 95% of users do say that their skin is brighter and smoother after just one use. In the interest of making sure that I use this the right way and to give you guys the correct information, I've come into the Dermalogica flagship store to ask them some questions about how to get the most out of this product. This kind of foamy texture is what we're going for. Apparently you can use it when it's slightly more powdery if you want it to be a little bit more abrasive, but something like this will be a lot more gentle. This is obviously the microfoliant that we're talking about, but Apparently there are also two other types as well. So there's the milk foliant if you want something that's going to be a little bit more soothing or if you want something that's a bit more kind of heavy duty, they also have the super foliant as well. So depending on what you're after, you can change it up. But I'd say maybe start with this one and see how you get on. Good morning everyone. Wow, I look tired today. Hair up off the face before we try this out. So I am going to show you how I use the Dermalogica Daily microfoliant. I do have the full size somewhere. I think I took it away with me and I haven't unpacked the bag yet. Um, so I'm gonna be using this travel size version. Obviously this is an exfoliant, so before I use that I need to cleanse my skin. I'm gonna use the Dermalogica Special Cleansing Gel. I love this stuff. And also I do try when I'm doing like product testing to use as much from the brand as possible to kind of complement it because I think obviously these products are designed with each other in mind so I feel like we're going to get the best results if we are also using Dermalogica Special Cleansing Gel and also I, I do just love it, I think it smells gorgeous. I feel like you can get a really nice lather with it, it feels really luxurious. So I've got a clean muslin cloth, we're going to be using this for all the skincare today. I'm gonna wet that with some warm water, basically. We are going to dampen the face and the neck, um, just really gently. You just want them to be not dry, basically, so that you can get that lather going. We're gonna get a little bit out of there and pop it on my hand. I, to be honest, I start the lather here, but look how well that lathers up. Like, for a facial cleanser it lathers really really nicely so as you can see that kind of settles into the skin don't know why i'm going into so much detail on the special cleansing gel because we are obviously here to talk about the daily microfoliant brain not working it's too early moving on to the daily microfoliant now this activates on contact with water so what i like to do is wet my hands first i actually quite often do this in the shower because i find that to be the most efficient but obviously i haven't done that today because i wanted to film it and i'm not going to film myself in the shower um so what i'm going to do is just wet my hand and then what we're going to do is pour 
Oh, I really mix it down on my hand and make sure that it becomes like a foamy texture once you mix in all of the the powder. So as you can see that, there, there's really like not much powder there at all. This is like a really foamy kind of texture. So then you just pop it all over your face. I like to kind of massage it in as I go. I do avoid the eye area with this one. It's just really finely polishing your skin. Sorry, clearly my shower wanted some of the attention. You okay? So this is it on. You can kind of see a little bit of residue. It feels quite tight on the skin. Nothing major, but a little bit like a peel mask. Obviously you can't peel it off like that. You do just have to kind of rinse it off, but that that's kind of the sensation of it. I can use it every day and have no issues. Um, but I know that obviously some people do have more sensitive skin, in which case you can scale it back, do it every other day or a couple of times a week. However, this is not a morning and evening product because obviously you just want to use it once a day. You don't want to overkill on the exfoliants um, and do any damage to your skin. So I tend to use this one in the morning if I have time because I quite like that it gives you like a brightness to your skin, I think. There we go. I'm a little bit pink at the moment, but I think that's just from having like played around with it. But once I've got my moisturiser on and I've put on a little bit of serum and stuff, in a few minutes the pinkness will really die down. But I just think it makes you look very like fresh faced and ready for the day. So yeah, I am very pleased with those results. I am now going to go in with, oh should I do full Dermalogica? Yeah, maybe I will. I am going to use getting a song today as well. I am going to use the Biolumin C Serum. Love that stuff, but it's so expensive. And then the Skin Smoothing Cream. And there we have it. I am moisturized, I am polished, I am cleansed, in the opposite order to that. When I go through a little phase of not using the daily microfoliant, daily microfoliant, I forget how much I actually really like it because I really like to like massage it in. I get a lot of congested pores like around my nose and stuff. Let's see if I can show you, although they'll probably be a little bit better now. Mm, you can kind of see that they exist. But I do really notice that from a couple of weeks of using this, that starts to really go down, actually earlier than that, but a really marked difference after a couple of weeks. Um, but what I really love about this is the fact that once you you know you're moisturized and stuff your skin doesn't feel dry or like it's under attack and i feel like a lot of exfoliants do feel that way but i do think that making sure that you have mixed it up into a really good creamy foamy paste type texture is really important because obviously you don't want to be rubbing like powder up against your skin that's not a pleasant feeling i'm on day six of consistent use with the daily microfoliant and i just wanted to quickly drop in to talk about how I feel like my skin is looking. I am noticing a real difference around my nose and the kind of more congested areas, but also just generally, my skin looks a lot brighter. Every time I come in at the end of the day, I have a mirror right by my front door and every time I walk through the door, I expect my makeup to look really like tired and end of day dodgy but actually it just looks a lot fresher than i'm expecting it to and my skin looks a lot more uh glowy and comfortable and happy i don't think that can be the makeup because i haven't changed anything in my makeup routine i'm trialing a couple of primers for a different video but this has been happening whichever primer i'm using i actually feel like after six days of use the daily microfoliant has made the biggest difference to the texture of my skin I have ever seen it looks more awake it looks plumper i look less gray i think this product might become like a ride or die product for me i can't believe the results i've had so far straight off the bat i love this product i feel like it has made the single biggest difference to my skin that i've seen from any one product in such a long time i'm almost annoyed with myself for putting off using it every day now i've had it for so long and i've just never really put the effort in i didn't really notice a difference in terms of like my breakouts or anything like that although that's not really what the product promises to do so i wasn't expecting to but the texture of my skin has been completely transformed it is like a different person's skin. 
and as a result my makeup sits nicer it looks better with no makeup on everything is just brighter and it looks a little bit more healthy i do think that technique here is really important you have to make sure that your hands are wet enough in the first place mix it in until it's really really smooth and then massage it into your face for a full minute to see the full results my only downside is that it is messy. This packaging is inconvenient, and obviously this is the travel size version, but the full size one which I have in my shower is also inconvenient. With the way that it opens up, you have so little control over how much of the product is coming out, and as a result, it goes everywhere. You're supposed to use half a teaspoon of the product per use, and I always end up using way more than that just because I can't control it well enough, and then it feels unhygienic to pour it out and then pour it back in somehow to me. However, a turning point for me with the mess was when I started using it in the shower. So now I keep my big bottle in the shower because it is the most convenient place to do it. It doesn't really matter if it goes everywhere. Um, you can really kind of, I, I put my conditioner on my hair and then do my skincare. So I cleanse and now do my exfoliant so yeah using it in the shower is far more convenient and I would definitely recommend doing it that way. I also find that it does have its best effect when I do it in the morning. There were a couple of days when I did it in the evening and I just feel like I didn't really get the full benefits of that brightening effect because I think it it does work really well over time but it also just works really nicely to give you like a really fresh face throughout the day and I didn't want to waste that on the time that I was asleep. To be honest, I didn't want to love this. I can be quite lazy when it comes to things like this and if a product is difficult to use, it really weighs on my opinion of it most of the time. So I really expected to not be a big fan of this. However, in this case, I do think the extra effort feels worth it. It is quite a long process for a singular skincare product from tipping it out gently and slowly to then mixing in the water and then massaging it over your face. It does add a good few minutes onto your routine. But that being said, I genuinely feel like it's worth it for the effect. And I'm, I hope that you can see them and that you agree with me. So in conclusion, I would really, really recommend this product. I'll leave a couple of links in the description, one to the full size and then to a sample size as well. I hope this video has helped you figure out whether the Dermalogica Daily Microfoliant Exfoliator is the right product for you. I can't believe how many times I've successfully said that without getting tongue-tied, if I'm honest. If you think it looks good but you're still on the fence, remember to check out those travel sizes. I know I keep going on about the sample sizes, but genuinely, I think they're such a good option when it comes to luxury skincare to try it out without making the full investment investment make sure that it's good with your skin especially if your skin is particularly sensitive prone to flare-ups etc I just don't want to encourage you all to drop a load of money on something that you're not going to get the use out of so if you're feeling confident go for the full size if you're still on the fence but you want to give it a go I would really recommend getting the travel size and worst ways you love it and then you buy a full size and then you've got a travel size ready to go that's what I like to do I've got a few of them now if you found this video useful please do give it a thumbs up subscribe to see plenty more videos like this one and if you have any requests for future reviews please do leave them in the comments as well as well as any thoughts you have on this product thank you for watching I will see you in the next one I think I've just inhaled some of it.